The Flash movie ends with a shocking cameo of a prior DC Comics actor, which a new report reveals was a last-minute choice and not screen-tested. The Flash movie ended with the return of one iconic actor, which a new report reveals was a last-minute choice, with Ezra Miller's Barry Allen changing the past in order to save his mom from being murdered. The DC Extended Universe movie saw a number of timeline changes, including Sasha Kale's Supergirl having landed on Earth instead of Henry Cavill's Superman and Michael Keaton still being the universe's Batman. After mostly fixing his mistakes in the climax, The Flash ended with the rug pull reveal that Barry has still messed with the timeline as George Clooney's Bruce Wayne greets him. The Hollywood Reporter has published a chronicling of The Flash's multiple endings. After scrapping two prior endings, the creative team behind the movie, including new DC heads James Gunn and Peter Safran, elected to try and get George Clooney to come back, even though they feared it was a long shot. After screening it for Clooney and getting his approval, he became a last-minute addition with a quick shoot on the Warner's lot this past January with Miller. Warner's was so keen on the new ending they didn't even screen test it with audiences, keeping the cameo under wraps even at its CinemaCon premiere stopping the movie short of his appearance. It was reported just a couple of weeks ahead of the movie's debut that WB had kept The Flash's ending a secret until just prior to its release, which led to speculation it would explain the resetting of the DC Universe for Gunn's future plans. Gunn himself even confirmed that the movie was intended to set up his first phase of projects entitled Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters, namely his Superman, legacy currently in casting tests alongside Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. The report above not only confirms Clooney's appearance is one of three endings for the movie, but also shares further insight into the previous plans for The Flash's finale under previous studio supervision. The first, for which said photos surfaced of early in its production, saw Supergirl and Keaton's Batman appear on the courthouse steps to indicate Barry had not fully reset the timeline as he expected. The second, which was reportedly not shot, would have included Cavill's Superman and Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman alongside Supergirl and Keaton's Batman. With the multiple changes at WB and DC, and the scrapping of plans for Cavill's future and a standalone Supergirl movie for Kale, Gunn and the rest of the team landed on the Flash movies currently ending, still retaining the germ of the idea that Barry didn't yet fix things. Given a sequel has reportedly already been written by Aquaman's David Leslie Johnson McGoldrick though is waiting on the box office performance for the first Flash. It will be interesting to see if Clooney's infamous Batman return becomes more than a piece of fan service and something bigger for the DCU.